Hey, what's going on guys? It is last year and welcome to the sixth episode of our FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Player Predictions. Today we have got some great players to look at. First off, if you guys are looking for any coins, then go and check out the FIFAshop.co.uk and use my code LA5TY to get yourself a nice little 5% discount. Links down below in the description as always, guys. Uh, and if this video can hit 2,000 likes, it'd be absolutely incredible and I'd really, really appreciate it. So smash that like button for me, guys. Um, and let's move on to the first player of the episode. First up. We have got the 86 rated Cesc Fabregas. Now, has been in the news in the last couple of weeks about signing for Chelsea. So, of course, I've given him that Chelsea badge on his Ultimate Team card. I'm going to keep him at an 86 rated card um, and only really change just a few of his stats. Pace, shooting, passing, defending, all up by one. But other than that, I reckon we'll see a very, very similar card um, in in FIFA 15. Like I think it's the, only, the major difference is going to be, of course... Uh, that badge, that Chelsea badge, is going to be able to link to the Spanish guys in the Premier League. And of course, all the other normal Premier League players. Uh, and a lot of people, I think, will probably use him. Probably not Arsenal fans, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> second player up to date is going to be... Christian Benteke. Now, Benteke has got an 81 rated upgraded card uh, on FIFA 14 at the moment. Uh, and uh, a lot of people didn't think he deserved that at the time. Uh, but I think probably that is the sort of rating he should really be on Ultimate Team. Uh, I've, I've changed just a few of his stats. Again, this one's not going to change too much. I do think he'll stay as an 81 rated card. Uh, but pace, dribbling, shooting probably being uh, the main stats that are actually going to increase for him. Other than that, I don't know. I just don't think we're going to see too many changes for him. He's already got quite overpowered stats uh, in heading and stuff like that. So, uh, And obviously, like passing and that is not really a big deal for someone like Benteke. He's there to stick the ball in the back of the net. So... Uh, Three-star skills and a four-star weak foot for him. Uh, and then moving on to Lukaku. Now, Lukaku has got an 80-rated uh, upgraded card on Ultimate Team at the moment on FIFA 14. But I think he'll be pushing up, that, up to that 81-rated card. And it will be very, very similar to Christian Benteke. Now, he's going to have 84 pace. So that's no change there. But the rest of his stats, I think, will warrant that 81 card. You know, plus four shooting, plus two dribbling, plus two heading. He would be a really great card because he's slightly taller than Benteke, I believe. And uh, as the card stats show, he's just going to be a little bit quicker as well. Uh, again, three-star skills and a four-star weak foot. He's big, he's tall, he's strong. Uh, he would do the business on Ultimate Team. That is for damn sure. Uh, a lot of people are going to use him because there's, there's a lot of really good Belgian players in the Premier League. I hope people like his teammate... Um Kevin Morales. I hope EA don't be stupid and actually give him three or four star skills. The guy is known for skilling, so I hope Morales gets five star skills or something. That would go really well with the big boy Lukaku up front. Now moving on to our next player, our final player, the big player of the episode. It's going to be 87 rated Gareth Bale. He's, that is his current card on Ultimate Team. But what I've decided to do is upgrade him. Now I don't think we'll be fortunate enough to see him play in that cent in that central role like we've currently got. You know, he's a centre forward on this game. Uh, but I reckon uh, he'll be a right winger on the FIFA 15 Ultimate Team game. Now, stats-wise, I've just pushed them up by one or two in most departments. Uh, and it looks to be an incredible card. 94 pace, 86 dribbling, 86 shooting, and 84 passing. I nearly gave him 95 pace just because the guy is so rapid. Uh, if anyone can remember that. What was it? The Copa del Rey final where he absolutely blitzed past some defender uh, and made him look like he was running backwards. He's that quick. Uh, but Gareth Bale is... Uh, I've never used... I, I know I packed his team of the season, which was a right-sided player, but I've never used a right-sided Gareth Bale. And I think it would be epic because he can cut in on that left foot and take some really great shooting. He's also got fantastic defensive stats too. Uh, Four-star skills and weak foot for him is what I would predict. Uh, and have I done right in this episode? Let me know down below. Uh, and also, which four players do you think you should see next? Uh, I want to know that from you guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please do smash a like on it. That would be epic. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Uh, and I will see you next time, guys. Peace.